She has the job I want. Actually, I love my job. I can't take that. Uh, she's a travel lifestyle expert. She's here to show us how to plan a family summer vacation and do it with great ease and be able to do it with red fingernail polish on <laughs> and not have anybody look at you sideways. Wait, where's the Francesca Page is here with us. Hello. Hi, thanks for having me. Sure, so what do we consider when we when we do this? You one? know, there's a few major things. Obviously, you want to consider your budget first and foremost, how yeah. much you have to spend, also how much time you have off. You know, take travel time into consideration when you're planning a vacation, and also the demographics of your family, like how old are your kids? What are their interests? What are your interests? Take all that into consideration. I don't consider care about the kids. I want to relax. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well. Uh, well, well, what do you do, like Mar Mark? When he hasn't had a vacation like yeah. in six months, and and he takes them in little bits. So when you want to go on a short little vacation, what would you suggest? Like a four or five day vacation? Yeah, I would say like take a weekend away. So take a long weekend. I mean. The summertime is great for the California coastline. Anywhere from like San Francisco down to San Diego, there's tons to do for families. Um, you know, also on the East Coast, you have places like Muddle Beach, which is a great place I just discovered. It has the best of both worlds with amusements right there located on the beach, and it's pretty affordable too. Mm -hmm. So I would do that. All right, so, you know, there are oh, times right, I, I'm so. looking, I'm looking to do something, but I sit oh, back and I'm like, well, what's the deal? And I look at the promotional stuff that's going on. Right. Yeah. Do you suggest to look into that sort of thing and find? Yeah, absolutely. And there's some great apps that you can download. Um, you know, if you're on a tight budget, you can do a day trip. A day trip is still a trip. Yeah. Um, you know, look at national parks, local beaches, lakes, even museums if you have kids. You know, give them a cultural experience. Sure. Um, you know, things like Hopper.com, um, that's a great I Use app. that one. Hopper, Hopper Travel is a really good app to download, and it's a flight tracking app that tells you when flight prices go down. Yeah, um, or Hopper. It's called Hopper, yeah, Hopper you, Travel. Like, what what is that? No, I, I, yeah. Hopper. I use yeah. it, yeah. use it so much. Yeah, um, it yep. does. I, you know, I put in a destination, a couple like, I may go in July, whatever, and yeah. it sends this thing. You might want to consider, or we think the price is yeah. going to drop. Right, right now, right. it's currently really $800. Wrong. And for day trips, um, you know, there's day trips, which is a great thing you can get from the Apple Store. Download it. It will tell you like local things to do in the area. You know, if you just want to get away, but you only have a day or two, and that's a frequent problem for people. How do we? I mean, budget-wise, what you said, you don't know for those who are on a budget. Yes. We, we have to consider these things, and we go, oh, I spent way too much money. Yeah. On Bless you. Okay. Sorry. 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 Yeah. 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 You can't find a doctor when you're on vacation. No. Go ahead. If the yeah. family's on a budget, what can we do? You it's know, still really. I would. I would plan ahead. It's the biggest piece of advice I can give people in the travel industry. Um, yes, you can find last minute deals, but you're always better to, to plan ahead because then you can budget and prepare for it. Yeah. Um, and you really do have to take into consideration the time that you can get off. Is it worth it? Um, and if not, take a short trip. Take a few short trips. Sure. Um, it's those big long weeks away that really put a you know a dent in our bank accounts. Yeah. Yeah. I, I noticed that I read that you said that when you're on those short trips, not to pack too much in in one day because no. then you come home. Don't over schedule. You know, like yeah. I said, keep travel time in mind. How long does it take you to get there? How long does it take you to get back? And don't over schedule. I know a lot of people that do yeah. that. It burns. I'm time. so tired Eats from my time. vacation when I get home. Yeah, yeah. you need More a vacation tired. from your a vacation. vacation. I want to see maybe at the end if we have time your tips on getting over the um, uh, time change on all that stuff. Oh, yeah. But I want to go to Kim because I, I want to find out what you guys, are you doing anything? Because I know Hunter's about to leave the yes. nest. Yes. Well, we, um, my son, well, I was just talking to Clancy about this, is graduating from Oaks Christian High School and he's going to college. Yeah. So we wanted to organize a great family trip, like our last, you know, kind of family Big trip. Yeah. What would your suggestions be for an 18-year-old boy and yeah, family? Well, you know, I'm biased. I'm from Europe, obviously. So I, you know, I think Europe is a great cultural experience for people going into to adulthood. Um, if you're taking a big trip, this is the time to go over there. I suggest a city like Barcelona. It's really culturally rich and there's things to do really for, for you and, and your significant other and also for your son. Right. You know, he gets a cultural experience. It has a great nightlife. Lots of young people. Um, you know, there's a lot to do there and the weather's great, especially in yeah. the summertime. So that would sure. be my suggestion is somewhere like that. Orly, do you even Orly? want to take yeah. a vacation yes. with yes. them? <laughs> I mean, Ooh, I, with the kids. You yeah. kind of. That's a tough one. <laughs> so I have, I have two kids. I have a, yeah. a two and a half year old boy and a seven month old girl and I can't really figure out what the right vacation is that's yeah. like real, enough of a vacation for us that it's not just work. Work. Yeah. 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 Work yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. Amen sister. <laughs> yeah. It's just a flight alone. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. A good place to take. I mean I think the biggest thing I've, I've heard from um, people with young young kids is 
they want to be around people that they don't feel uncomfortable with a crying baby or you know a screaming toddler. So take a trip. I would say something like a cruise, like Disney Cruise Lines do these great trips for people with young babies. They give you everything on there. You know, diapers, nannies, you name it. It's all packed in there, and you don't have to do anything. You can sit back and let them. Her eyes lit up when you said nanny. When you said nanny, she did. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. the diapers are for the grown ups. Just yeah, so you know. well, I will clean dishes and move it. Awesome. Ken, do you so. guys go? I'm... No, but we're. At Gen- well, we went, we went away for Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. And A, yeah. the kids are all over too, so we had to buy five plane tickets to Nashville. Yeah. Like, never again. Uh, <laughs> and also, my parents are getting older, so the next vacation I want to do is with my parents. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my husband and I, the three kids, but then we're talking one, two, three hotel rooms. Yeah. And then it's like the price between flying and then the hotel room, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah prices can build very quickly when you're tra- traveling with a lot of people. My suggestion, Airbnb. Choose a location, um, you know, even Costa Rica is fantastic. There's tons to do. There are great Airbnbs on the beach. Mammoth, you can get cabins, um, you know, Airbnb a cottage. And that way, you know, you're splitting the price up. Those big hotel rooms, when you're booking for five, six people, it adds up quickly. You know, I need to, we did that once, and it was great, because not only, you had like a living room, like yeah. we had a place to hang out with all You had like a joint kitchen, the, social area, yeah. yeah. Uh, just one last tip. How? What's the best way for a mother and daughter to travel on a cruise that they want on a TV show <laughs> and not end up enemies? I don't know. I mean, my mom's my best friend, so. Okay. Uh, let us know how that turns out. Yeah. Right? Bring back some pictures. Yeah, do stuff. that. Yeah. More for Jessica's travel tips, you can check out MissTravelGuru.com. Also, her Instagram is a great place to catch up with her at MissTravelGuru. There it is. At the bottom of your screen. Wonderful. <laughs> I know. Hey guys, well, are you going on a road trip? We've got you covered. Come back for Hollywood Steals.